What is going on guys, Matt Kicks with Chris here and today I want to make a quick little video as you can see by the intro on how to cop Supreme on mobile. I am going to make a follow up to this specifically for your desktop, so your desktop computer. I want to make two parts, you know, since some people want to try to go with mobile, some people try to do desktop, I'll leave the pros and cons, you know, kind of which one's better overall. Before we get started with this video, I just want to quickly go over the differences between copying on mobile versus copying on your desktop. So, you know, whatever myths you've heard, there actually is no difference on a regular drop week. It's whichever one you think is faster, whichever one you can navigate through quicker, and whichever when you know the interface do better that's the one you should be using regularly on any drop week the only time where i say a mobile device is better than a desktop device is on you know any really hyped or limited drops so like box logo week that's the only time when the app tends to crash less uh, than the desktop you know website first step i know which is a super obvious one but you know i've got to get out of the way is you got to get your phone and download the supreme app you know this might seem obvious to most people but a lot of people who try to go on safari or google chrome on their actual phone when i'm telling you the app is the best method and disclaimer man i'm telling you this is probably the best or like you know the most efficient way of catching supreme drops online i don't think there's any other better strategy and if there is one you know drop in the comments but i've seen this is probably the best one you know that's been going out through 2020. So firstly, what you want to do is when you open the app, you just want to get go to any random item that's in stock, so you know, and pick up any size, and you want to add that to your cart. So once you've added to your cart, you just want to fill out all of your shipping information, and once you do that, you want to throw in a bunch of random numbers. So you want to throw in a bunch of random numbers for the credit card information, uh, the expiration date, and then the CVV code. So once you do that, you want to hit click process uh, process payment, and then obviously it's not going to charge you because it's a random made of card. But what it will do is it's going to save all of your shipping information. So once you do that, I just want you to remove the item from the cart. Throw a new item and then see if it automatically saves the next time you go into the checkout page so if it automatically saves and all your shipping information is correct we'll move on to the next step now i'm going to teach you guys how to set up autofill on your iphone so i don't know how to do it on your android currently but i'm pretty sure it's around the same process so the first thing you want to do is go to your settings and you're scroll to, you know it's close to the middle-ish area and you see a little tab that says safari so once you click on safari you're going to go hop in there and then you're going to scroll a little bit down and you're going to see that the uh term called autofill so after you click on your autofill tab, you're going to go down all the way in the last one and you're going to see something called save credit cards. So once you're in your save credit card tab, you know, just throw in your own payment information. And then once you go on Supreme, it should uh, autofill for you and you, should, you can just test it on the app for yourself. So everything I just told you, that's the whole setup. So, you know, you don't have to set up anything else. You have everything set up and we're just going to be talking about the strategy. So there's actually two different strategies I'm going to be talking about. One's for like any regular hyped week and another one specifically for like super limited hyped uh, weeks like box logo week. So firstly, you know, um, this strategy isn't perfect, but you know, it is the best strategy and it will set you up for the best, you know, chance of getting, you know, whatever item you want. Um, but you know, it kind of comes down to luck sometimes, it comes down to like how fast you are and just how good you are with the website. So the first thing you want to do is figure out the category of your item. So it's usually pretty simple with, um, you know, hats or accessories and things like that. But sometimes some people get mixed up. Uh, so some people get t-shirts and like hoodies, you know, under hooded sweatshirts. They get those mixed up. So make sure you know what category your item is. And then on drop day on the app, you want to make sure you're underneath that category and just refreshing on that one only so you don't get mixed up on anything else. So once you, you know, keep refreshing and you know, once 11 a.m. minutes, uh, you'll see your item pop up. And then you're going to click on it as quickly as you can. In Canada, I have to fill out two things. Things. I think in America you to fill out one. So for some reason uh, in Canada, our province doesn't fill out. So it's kind of like your state in America. So I had to put in my state and I leave my CVV um, blank. So I like make sure I type in my CVV instead of leaving it there. Since the reason I do this is because of bot protection. You know, Supreme knows that a lot of bots are online. So, you know, sometimes if you check out too quickly, your card's gonna get declined. You know, if you've ever seen that, that's why I don't have everything on autofill. And then after you set up those two things, you can click process payment. So make sure that, you know, if you're in Canada, all you have to do is fill in your province and then your CVV. But if you're just in America, I'd say leave your CVV blank and just type it in real quick and then hit process payment. And then that should give you your best chance at getting whichever item you want on a regular week. Next, we'll be talking about, you know, for specifically for box logo or really hyped item weeks. So now specifically for box logo week or any other, you know, really hyped uh, limited week where there's a lot of traffic to the app and the website, you know, you're going to know this because it's going to be the most upvoted item. It's going to be everyone's going to be going for, you know, it's going to be a lot of pages reposting this item. And, you know, like that's kind of how you like gauge if it's like really hyped. Um, so the one difference in the strategies is, you know, they ramp up their bot protection for these types of weeks. So any box logo week, they ramp it up like crazy. So even if you have autofill, they might think you're a bot and they might just decline your card because they're not taking any chances. So when I tell you the best way for like a box of a week is to leave all of your, so make sure you have all of your um, shipping information filled out. But the one thing I'm telling you is to leave all of your um, credit card information blank. You want to type that all in manually. And I'm, like, I'm telling you guys right now, you know, besides what you think, you know, oh, it's going to take me so long. It's going to take me like 30 seconds to type in but i'm telling you right now there's so many people gonna get a dark uh, card decline on their bots and even their autofill i'm saying go everything manual except your shipping information you know make sure you type in your card number your expiration date and your um 
CV and a lot of people think oh what if I just copy and paste each of them I'm saying don't copy and paste them type them all in manually and that'll give you your best chance um, at copying for really limited items and box uh, box a week and then like I said before for regular weeks you can have all of that set up I say you just usually leave your CVV blank and then just type that in and you should usually be good and you won't get really card declined in both these scenarios so that's going to conclude today's video on how to cop supreme on mobile like the best strategy I will be making a new one for your desktop specifically so you know best strategy for desktop best strategy for mobile I don't want to put them on one video and like match it up I kind of want to have two separate ones in case you're searching up on YouTube and you want one specifically for each I know there's not too much really to it you know after the after you use the best strategy and you do all of the, all the things i told you it kind of just comes down to luck and if you guys got any information and you guys this video helped you out at all you know a like a comment or you know if you subscribe and turn your post bell notifications on so you never miss a video that would be really appreciated i'll see you guys in the next one